Tanakh only sessions a contract. Yeah, I appreciate all the home team out here, man, hitting them checkpoints, man. You know, popping off, man. Getting through it. I think it's starting to feel a little exciting now that you're able to get through so much. I think it's feeling pretty good to you now. You're like, oh, man, bring it on, man. Bring it on, man. And that's where Hawa wants you to be. That's where Hawa, our framer, our shaper, our mother and our father, that's where they want us to be. They want us to be like, bring it on. I could tackle anything. I could walk through anything. Anyone. I can overcome anything. And I went, oh, please, please, save me, save me, save me, save me. They say, man, daughter of David, daughter of Sheba, save yourself. Son of Dawi, son of Khalifa, save yourself. How do you save yourself? KTC, that means keep the cold. Enjoy Shabbat, chilling in my robe. That's Clan Ross at your front door. They gonna pay their weight in Aztec gold. Montezuma for the free throw. Nipsey Hussle let them wings grow. He gonna hit us with a free flow. Hitting Crenshaw in that green low. ATC, that may keep the cold. <laughs> hey man, uh, that's how we save ourselves. That's how you become your own Mashiach. Discipline. I'm learning it over and over again. Like a baby. Like a baby. Hey, shout out to baby. <laughs> Yourself, the real family. You know, baby. Just turned two. You know, and my son is right uh, after her, you know, uh, Mac here. He, he's he's about to hit that two mark. So. Alawa. Alawa. Shalawan for the droplets. The Book of Enoch, chapter 37. Up to the 500 cold, keep it noggers, man. I, I saw a few noggers, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they get, they drop in before Shabbat. I just want to tell you, my noggers, AI, you know what I mean, for thinking about us, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and hitting that check, just making it a note to hit that checkpoint and say, you know, I want to put in on this fence. I want to, I want to get there. We're so close to our goal now, man. I mean, can't you feel it? So, Getting to our goals is step one. You know, that completion is it's going to feel real good to a knock. You know, that we raised $10,000 for land building purposes, specifically to build our fence. <clears throat> La Hua, I mean, it's a vision. We put it out there. I put it out there. You know, I, I know I got 500 code keepers there. Share the same vision, have the same drop in them. So we're going to talk about this vision, man. And um, I just want to say hey, AI to all the contributors, you know, for the fence. And wait till you see it. I mean, wait till we do it, you know. It gives us something to do, something to be excited about. I got to do it, right? We got to do it. So, <laughs> like, that's dope. That's a that's a higher level. That's a goal. That's hashtag goals, man. That's tribal goals. What's your tribe doing? You know what we're doing. We building a fence on an acre of land in Utah. Blue, purple, red, white linen, gold thread. Hey, out to the Templar. That's what we're doing. How do we get there? By keeping the cold. 
The ball's right out in front. Hit the easy button, bread. It's that simple. No cap on my number two pencil. So what's the vision? We got the vision. You got the vision. 360 Dragonfly. We're picking it up. Book of Enoch, chapter 37. A reading out of the Et Sephora, Et Sefer. Let's go. The vision which he saw, the second vision of wisdom, which Enoch saw, the son of Jared, son of Mahalel, the son of Cana, or Cana, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, or Sheth, the son of Adam. This is, this is the commencement of the word of wisdom which I receive to declare and tell to those who dwell upon the earth. Hear from the beginning and understand to the end the holy things which I utter in the presence of Hawah, those who were before thought it good to speak and let us and let not us who come after obstruct the beginning of wisdom until the present period. Never has there been given before Hawa that which I have received, wisdom according the capacity of my intellect and according to the pleasure of Hawa, that which I have received from him, a portion of life eternal. So we're talking about eternal life, right? <laughs> This is way before JC, right? You got to get eternal life. Yada, yada. So this eternal life flow, way before the new test, it was already established, right? <laughs> Enoch already had the drop, right? This is in Yo Tanakh, but they took it out. They, they took out the book of Enoch. And the Sefer, they put it back in, just like Jubilees. Just like Jasher. Come, come. And I mean, there's so many more. So you get the full story that you didn't need a new test. You had the full story already. But they just shuffled it around, took it out, you know, uh, and then booted your timeline and your history back sometimes up to 1,800 years. So now you in the B.C.s. Events happening in the 1200s, they're putting back to the B.C.s, man. That's what Scalinger, Fertavius, whatever, you know what I mean. That's what these hijacks is doing. Let's go. Verse 2, and let not us who come after obstruct the beginning of wisdom until the present period never has there been given before Hawa that which I have received, wisdom according the capacity of my intellect and according to the pleasure of Hawa that which I have received from him, a portion of life eternal, and I obtain three parables which I declared to the inhabitants of the world parable the first when the assembly of the righteous shall be manifested and sinners be judged for their crimes and be troubled in the sight of the world when the righteous one appears in the presence of the righteous themselves who will be elected for their works weighed by Hawa who will be elected for their works weighed by Hawa. And when the light of the righteous and the elect who dwell on earth shall be manifested, where will the habitation of sinners be? Mm. And when the light of the righteous and the elect who dwell on the earth shall be manifested, where will the inhabitants of the sinners be or those that are out of code? Where would they be, right? These are questions. These are real spill questions Enoch is putting out there. And when the place, and we're the place of rest for those who have rejected Hawa, it would have been better for them had they never been born. Man. You had that KTC and then now you bring in an idol. Now you call it on an idol. Now every prayer you're doing is in the name of the sun. 
Zeus or whatever other hijack. Oh, you know, you you were a strong ock, you know, but then you became what they call a Mahdi ock. A Mahdi ock is, you know, a, a brother who, or an ock who brings, you know, false idols to his fellow ox. You know, he becomes a Mahdi ock. Or an ock that just, you know, wants to break the code, trans, just, you know what I'm saying, just um, trample the Shabbat, you know what I'm saying, trample your flow. Trample your rest, your zon. <laughs> Trample the cold, right? Covered everything you got. Just look at you and just be coveting in their heart the whole time. Bearing false witness. Talking on things they know nothing about. They will never be a witness to. <laughs> Man. And when the light of the righteous and the elect who dwell on the earth shall be manifested, where will the habitation of the transgressors be? And where the place of rest for those who have rejected a while? They're out of gold. They're out of pocket. It would have been better for them had they never been born. When two, the secrets of the righteous shall be revealed, then shall sinners be judged. And in Impious men shall be afflicted in the presence of the righteous and the elect. From the period those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful and exalted, neither shall they be capable of beholding the countenances of the holy. Whoa. So from the period those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful and exalted, I all pray so why, man. I just picked up this 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 at Sefer and this picked up this Sefer here, man, and open it up, man, and land it right here. And man, does it apply? We definitely talking about the deck, you know. We are definitely talking about these times. From that period, those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful. And exalted, neither shall they be capable of beholding the countenances of the holy. For the light of Hawa will have appeared on them, on the face of the holy, the righteous, and the chosen. Anaga, this ain't no new test. <laughs> this ain't no 144 talk. This ain't no uh, revelations, man. <laughs> But this is end time prophecy. Enoch, who's taking the ride, right? He's taking the he's taking the full journey, right? <laughs> he's taking a full tour, huh? He, he he's getting the drop. And from that period, those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful and exalted. And ain't, ain't this happening? Because they cease. To be powerful once you realize how powerful you are. And the bully starts getting afraid because deep down inside the bully is ruled by fear. That's they really super afraid of you, you know? And the minute you start believing in yourself, that, that bully's like, oh, I could possibly lose. Oh shit. Like the bully is afraid of losing. You been getting your ass kicked, so you know, you don't even, you don't care no more. Win or lose, you gonna fight, right? But the bully though used to win it, right? So the bully got more fear than you. And once you realize that, once you know that, and you just, you know, you unveil all that, all that toughness, all that, all that charade, all that armor, all that muscle, all that deflates because it doesn't mean nothing no more. Because you know what the name and the rules of the game is. It ain't about the size of the dog. It's about the fight that's in that dog. It ain't about the size. It's about the fight that's within you. And the fight that's within you, because we ain't no dogs. We talking to dragons, right? <laughs> 
the fight that's within the dragons, man. To rise, to have redemption, stronger than anything that they can have. It's stronger than their hate and it's stronger than their fear. Because this is all Ahab. Enoch's telling us what it is from the period those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful and exalted. Neither shall they be capable of beholding you. They can't even see you. They can't even look at you, man. That Shekinah flow, that Amma, that light, they can't even behold it. There's going to be no question about who you are. There's going to be no question about who you are, my nigga. You're not going to have to prove it to nobody no more. They're not even going to be able to behold you. <laughs> They're not worthy of looking at you, of being able to see clearly who, who and what you are. They're just going to see brilliance, brilliant light, my nigga. I'm talking greater light from above the firmament. The greater light. Remember the light? Let there be light. Yeah, that was uh, you know, early, right? <laughs> that was before the creation of the sun in Genesis. You know, that, that was before the fourth day. Let there be light, huh? What was it, uh, second day? I got to look at that again. I think it was second day. But I know it was a couple of days before the creation of the sun. So what, what light? Let there be what light? That lets you know that there's a greater light than the sun, man. The sun was created to put inside of this you know, firmament inside of this, this dome that, you know, this separation that the hijack's popping off in that includes the celestial or all these worlds, you know, all these worlds, right? But once that separation, you know, is uh, unveiled, you know, once it's taken away, there's going to be a more brilliant light than Tomas here, <laughs> which they call the sun in the book of Enoch. So that light is what you're connected to. That's what's going to be shining through you. Something that they've never, they can't even behold it again. Neither shall they be capable of beholding the countenances of the holy. For the light of Hawaii will have appeared on the face of the holy. What does it mean? Naga, what does it mean? What does it mean for Hawa's light to appear on your face, Bo? What does it mean for Hawa's light to appear on your face, Bo, man? I want to know. I mean, we want to know. We, we need to meditate on this, you know. We gotta meditate on the law. We gotta meditate on the code. Because only the code could get you to the point that Hawaii's light is shining off your face, Bo. What light is Hawaii's light? We're not talking about the sunshine. <laughs> You're talking about light above the barrier. The greater light. The emerald tablets, you know, Thoth and the gang. Thoth couldn't see beyond this barrier he couldn't see beyond the greater light it was formless it was shapeless he couldn't behold it just like they can't behold it that lesser magic that cosmo ca cosmic magic man you can't even behold the greater light if your boy Thoth couldn't do it you damn sure can't do it and they try to call Enoch Thoth but there's two Enochs <laughs> so you got to chase you got to chase your Enoch. You got to choose your Enoch. You got an Enoch in the cane line, right? Then you got another Enoch, you know, with the whole, you know, uh, Seth, you know, flow. So, you know, which Enoch you're going to choose, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you got T-Noch Titlin. Which T Enoch was that? Popping off T-Noch Titlin, you know what I'm saying? You know, connected to Israel the fourth and then Israel the second, you know what I'm saying? All of the Toltecs, the Sylvanus, Solomon the Builder, Sylvanus Toltecs, as they migrated and popped off Tenoch Tit, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, this beautiful kingdom, man. So, 
And then what? I mean, how many of our kingdoms are underwater? All right, so we we're digging in these lakes. We got to drain these lakes. But first, we got to, you know, realize that this light is a real thing. It's, it's already in you. It's already connected to you. It's not a foreign light for you because you are that light. You are that greater light. My naga, as you code up, as we get disciplined, man. And I'm talking to myself, you know, every, everybody that I love, get disciplined. Get disciplined. Get disciplined in your training, you know, get disciplined in your, your diet, your, your, your habits, you know what I'm saying? Just be disciplined. My naga, you see them rolling in. This is our time. If we can't do it now, we ain't never going to do it. If you can't be disciplined now and accomplish your goals now, you'll never do it, my naga. You want to get through this window? You want to catch this wave? You got to do it now. You got to get disciplined. And you only you know what that means. Because you've been telling yourself this the whole time. And you know what I'm talking about. Whatever you need to get disciplined on, you know what I'm talking about. Whatever it is, my naga. Whatever step you got to take. Whatever choice you got to make. This is the time to do it at this very moment. Shabbat Shalom. It's the most important thing in your entire life. It's the most important time in our entire lives. No matter how many times we've popped off on this realm of existence. This is the most important time. This is what we've done it for. This is what we've been training for, my Nagi. This is what all those other lives were about. <laughs> this is what all those other experiences were about. How are you going to choose up now facing 5G and facing the tenderoni and facing you know what I'm saying these these uh you know uh, uh naga killing you know what I'm saying officers on the street you know blowing our nagas down we got to face all kind of armies you know what I'm saying and we got to face each other ops this smoking on this pack we're all against the cold we're killing each other we got to go through all this man <laughs> then you got your relationships You got toxic Toxic nagas You know Toxic males Toxic females You know All because of all this baggage And emotion And lack of structure And order And lack of discipline If you can't do it now My naga It's for the birds man I'm talking to myself And I'm talking to the nagas I love For the AHA. If you're going to Ahab your naga, Ahab them to the fullest. Don't Ahab them with one foot in the door and one foot out the door. If you're not going to give Ahab, then don't give Ahab to the full. And separate yourself. You got to get out of toxic relationships. You got to get out that sh You know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't crystallizing, this ain't the time for it. You need it all. You got to be a little selfish because if you can't, you know, power up. You ain't going to be able to power nobody else up. It's like a plane. They say a plane going down. You get the oxygen max. You got to put your own mask on or else you're not going to be alive to help your entire family. That's not selfish. That's order. <laughs> That's how you save them. So you being disciplined, even if you feel like, oh, you know, but so-and-so want me to do this. And people pulling you in different directions. You, you don't want to say no. Say no, my nugget. If it ain't right, you ain't feeling it. If it's in limbo, it ain't it, it, it ain't the real thing. Make a decision. Don't be in limbo about things right now. Don't be hot and cold. Don't be in the middle, man. You know, be hot or be cold, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be for Hawaii, then be for Hawaii. You for the cold, you bang in the cold. I <laughs> love the dragon child. I can't get it off my mind, bro. Ever since he told me. He said, we need to be game banging. The, if you're going to game bang, game bang the cold. Tribe up on the cold. That's what, exactly what we say, man. Shout out to Dragon Child, flag designer of the Nagaville flag. Ooh, I just got them Nagaville shirts, man. <laughs> oh, man, Dragon Child, man. Hey, look out for us, man. <laughs> I'll show them after Shabbat. It's going to be beautiful, man. So, hey, shout out to all my Nagas, man. I mean, this is what we... This is what we're doing it for. This is the period we're talking about. Enoch chapter 38, verse 4. From that period, those who possess the earth shall cease to be powerful and exalted. Because you done unveiled them, them fake 
snakes. You know what I'm saying? You didn't, you know, take they, you took their frequency away with that 432. You, you scattered all that darkness. They got nowhere to run. They got nowhere to hide. They don't have nothing. We don't give them nothing. We see clearly. That means we see you. We see you, hijack. We, we see you now, man. And we know sometimes a hijack look just like us, so, you know. We're not blinded by that no more either. Oh, black power. Black power. When has there ever been black power? Unless you're just talking the wicked that teamed up against us. When have all black people rocked together? I'll wait. Huh? Show me this period in history where there was complete uh, black unity. <laughs> when all the black tribes, all the melanated tribes just popped off and had the same power and, 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 and you know, had the same flow. Like, nah, man. So it's been tribal war the whole time, man. Cold or out of cold. We had a relationship with our creator. They created their own gods to mimic the relationship we had with our creator. And then we went after it that way because that was all shiny and new. And here we are. For the light of Hawa will have appeared on the face of the holy, the righteous, and the chosen. Yet shall not the mighty kings of that period be destroyed, but be delivered into the hands of the righteous and the holy. Oh, ho. Ooh, they're going to be delivered into your hands, into your hand bone. Nor thenceforward shall any obtain commiseration from Hawa because their lives will have been completed. In those days shall the elect and holy race descend from the upper heavens and their seed shall then be with the sons of men. Enoch received Sepharim of indignation and wrath and Sepharim of hurry and agitation. Never shall they obtain mercy, says Hawa. A cloud then snatched me up and the wind raised me above the surface of the earth, placing me at the extremity of the heavens. Woo. Ain't no extremity to a ball. It's just going loopity loop. But on a plane, you can have extremities. <laughs> All praise the Wah and the water for tuning up with a noggin. Shabbat Shalom We did it again in our Tanakh only session. Contra. Surf the wave, my noggins. Don't let nothing get you down. And make great choices and continue to choose up because every time you do, you walk through another door another gateway you spiral up into another vortex and I'll see you there and we'll be together my naggy tribe up and shalom to the home team shabbat shalom we did it again oh, wow.